Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about March 17th, Legal Legends Slate. I apologize for the delay. Um, I had some emergency come up, but nonetheless, um, I wanted to get this out before midnight um, as we have a 3 a.m. Eastern time lock. So hopefully, you know, this provides enough time for you guys. Um, but without any further ado, let's dive in. A quick recap. Um, yesterday, um, we had a pretty good slate. Um, we got most of most of the predictions correctly. So hopefully, you guys made some money. I didn't have any takedown, but it was still a profitable slate. Um, but yeah, today we have a, another four game slate, so it's exciting. But um, if you like our videos, please please uh, smash the like button below. Um, it would mean a lot and be greatly appreciated. Thank you. All right. So two games in China, two games in Korea. Um, some of the some of these teams are pretty bad. Um, we have, you know, some bad teams playing tonight. Whereas yesterday, I think in the LCK, we had four playoff teams. So, you know, quite discrepancy there. But yeah, um, LPL we have anyone's legend um, at plus one thirty five underdog against Fun Plus Phoenix at minus one seventy six, and then EDG a sizable favorite at minus two eighty versus OMG at plus 205, who's been playing pretty well lately. Um, so I think that's an interesting one. So yeah, AL versus FPX, um, you know, on its face, I mean, both teams are shit. Both teams are at the bottom tier teams. Really, the only player that I remotely like out of all these 10 players is probably Care, and then that's about it. Maybe ZDZ, but like Betty's been underperforming. LWX has been underperforming, even though he's looked good in, in their wins. I think it's just the byproduct of them, you know, winning and snowballing and all that. Um, I, I just don't think he necessarily has played well this split. Um, Care, on the other hand, I think, you know, he's the only player amongst the 10 players that I said I like. Um, for the reason, because he's been so consistent for that team. He had a little mishap, I think, in the first couple weeks, in several uh, several weeks, rather. Um, but after that, he's, you know, been a probably the most consistent player on this team. But yeah, as mentioned, I mean, both teams are kind of shit, but <clears throat> FPX has been playing slightly better than anyone's legend, in my opinion, and I do agree with these odds. But yeah, let's look. That's my eye test. But look at let's look let's look at the metrics. Uh, total kills over under set at twenty four point five. Um, seems pretty high, and it is the highest among the four games on the slate. Um, and then ZKPM is uh, it does confirm um, that high kill projection at 0.75, um, as you can see, and on the latest patch, um, which I'll talk about later, um, they've actually been playing faster. Um, I think in the last 10 games or so. So I just wanted to kind of point that out. You know, the more recent trend uh, favors them and their kill upside in this matchup. Um, jungle control, jungle control percentage. Um, F FPX leads that, and Hacker, <laughs> you know, as much as I don't like him, he's been playing. He had he has played better than Xiao Hao. That's how bad Xiao Hao has played this split. Um, so it's very disappointing because I really liked Xiao Hao coming into this split, but he's proven me wrong. And Hacker has been consistently bad too, but not as bad as Xiao Hao. So anyway, um, but you see that um, it actually has it uh, uh sorry, a jungle control percentage increases as a, you know on the latest patch. Um, patch, uh, I think, like I said, the latest patch consists of like 10, 10 games, I believe, um, for the teams. And Hacker has been playing slightly better. Um, so, you know, it kind of shows here uh, the recent advantage that FPX has over other opponents, their counterparts. Um, you see it spikes up to 10.7% uh, gold spend percentage difference. For in favor of hacker and FPX, um, so yeah, it's very interesting. I I am starting to look at these um uh, metrics in uh different sections and like different chunks. Uh, let's see, like the chunk, <clears throat> the overall chunk of looking at the met metrics for the overall spring split. 
versus I think the latest chunk of like the last latest patch that they're playing on, which like I said, is 10 games. I think having played so many games um, so far in the split, I think it's, it matters quite a bit for me, at least in my prediction model to look at, uh, look at, um, you know, different chunks of different data. So that is what I'm doing here. And it tells me that the recent trends favor FPX over AL in this matchup. Um, as you can see, FPX has an advantage in the 80 carry mid lane and support uh, by the metric of EGPM. Um, EGPM, sorry. But yeah, I, I do think it's, it's a little bit of a toss up, um, but I'm going to take a firm stance on FPX winning. I don't think I'm going to play any AL, but at the same time, it's the highest kill upside game. So AL is definitely deserving of the gpp equity but i have i have some other matchups that i like a lot as well so maybe fpx stance is justified or maybe that's something that i need to do to kind of limit my player pool but i like i like fpx here in this spot um in the biggest kill upside matchup so that's probably where i'm gonna go um i'll probably go down as fpx goes down tonight i think um, that's where I'm at. All right. The next matchup is EDG versus OMG. Both teams are good. EDG is in the top, 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 top first place. Let me pull this up. I think this is in Korean. Yeah. Um, EDG is in the top place. So, you know, I mean, they've clinched the playoffs, but, but they also need to worry about their seeding. Um, so EDG, you know, probably wants want to win this uh, game, and then OMG here, um, they are playing really well. I mean, they're eight and five as well. So both good teams, both most likely playoff teams, in my opinion, um, going at uh, going against each other. I think this is a toss up though. I think a lot of people think that EDG will just roll them over, but OMG has been playing really, really well lately. I like that a lot. I know Aki has been kind of underwhelming in the jungle position, but everybody else on that team for OMG has been really good. And that scares me if I'm playing EDG um, because I think OMG um, has been playing better as of late. Cream especially, in my opinion. Uh, the kill upside, though, um, looking at the stats and data, um, it's, it's sitting at 24 over under kills for total kills. And then 0.73 uh, for CKPM. And then you see, like I said, the latest patch I mentioned, EDG has been playing a little bit slower. So that tells me that if I'm stacking both Chinese matchups, maybe this is the one that I will use as a secondary uh, stack. I think a lot of people, most people will play ED, lots of EDG as the primary stack. But I think that that's one way to differentiate yourself because, you know, uh, the recent data shows that EDG has been playing a bit slower lately. And then jungle control percentage, late lane control percentage, all favor EDG, but not, I mean, by slight margins, right? Like it's not nothing too significant. Um, although jungle control, it's 3.6%. That's quite significant. Um, as you know, JJ is much better than Aki, and Aki has been struggling, as mentioned. Um, but OMG, like I said, in the laning phase and team fights has been playing really well. So I do think OMG is a live dog tonight. Um, I think EDG wins two to one for my match prediction, but I will definitely have some OMG um, in my lineups tonight. And kill upside is pretty good as mentioned, but not as good as the other LPL matchup. All right, and then we have KDF versus KT. KT really, really needs to win this one to stay in the playoff hunt, at least for the seeding for seeding purposes. You see, KT is at eleven and five. They have a chance to tie D plus Kia and Genji here for the potentially number two spot. I think each of these three teams will have one more game left, so KT definitely has a shot to advance to the next higher seed. So that is a motivation that KT has tonight going up against going up against Guangdong Freaks, um, who's six and eleven, but they were really bad and they were toward the bottom until I think they won like the last three in a row or three out of four. 
you know, they've been playing really well, even though they just cannot uh, cannot um, possibly qualify for the playoffs. But they've been playing really well as of late. Um, so that is, that makes this matchup intriguing. Um, but at the same time, uh, looking at the metrics and looking at what Vegas thinks, this will be the lowest uh, lowest kill upside matchup here tonight. Uh, Kwangdong Freaks versus KT. So you know, I think either of them is okay for the team slot. But I don't think I'm gonna have any of them in my lineups as this has the lowest kill upside. Um, but yeah, I, I do think KT should win um, two to one, but you know, KDF definitely has a shot just based on the recent um, form. <clears throat> All right. And then um, Nongshim versus Fred Brian. Um, I guess Brian now. Brian is favored at minus two seventy five. Um, over Nongshim, both teams are shit. Like I said, Brian's number eight, Nongshim is number ten on the standings. Total kills over under though twenty point five is a slightly higher than the other LCK matchup that I just talked about. CKPM, this is an interesting nugget. I think theirs is low, but guess what? They've been playing. Both teams have been playing faster lately. Um, it's it's averaged at 0.73 between these two teams on the latest patch, which is worth like 10, 10 games, I believe. Um, that's comparable because 0.73 is actually about the same as the EDG OMG matchup, right? So um, I think I'm definitely going to have a share of this game, uh, depending on who I think will win. And who, who do I think will win? I mean, Fred and Breon has an advantage here. In the jungle, in the laning phase, in the golds per minute metric, uh, golds uh, spent percentage difference metric, um, and then the jungle control, uh, EGPM, um, Bre Fred Brian's uh, Umti um, has an advantage there. But as of late, um, Nongshim has been playing slightly better. So I think this is going to be a closer matchup than people think. And two teams who... Are you know this is a meaningless game to them, um, except for the future growth and development of these players, just to get the gaming experience under their belt. So maybe they'll try out new things, or they'll just they just won't try, just given the lack of the playoff hope. But nonetheless, I think uh, Fred and Brian should win this two to one, but I do think it's more of a toss up than people think. I think Nongshim has been playing a little bit better as of late. Um, so they're definitely a live dog here tonight. Um, so I may have them uh, in a few sprinkles probably here in my lineups tonight. All right. I think that's all I got for you guys today. Um, if you like my videos, please, please hit the like button below. Otherwise, good luck out there and have fun and let's make some money. Have a good one. Bye-bye.